What's up you beautiful creatures? Today we have a full body workout that's gonna give you a good sweat. So we're gonna work our legs. Oh, <laughs> not very flexible. Our arms, our abs, and pretty much our entire body. Let's just get started, shall we? We have four sets today. All exercises are 30 seconds each. Let's start with Heinzmann. Start by bringing your right leg to the right while swinging your left arm forward like so. It looks like you're sprinting but you're actually hopping to the right and left while bringing your knee as high as possible. Now if you can't jump, then just bring your knee up. Straight away, we have crisscross squats. Start with a squat, then jump up and cross your legs. Then jump back out into a squat again. If you can't jump, then just do a squat. Feel free to modify it. Now let's do hopping crunch. Do a single hop or double hops in between the standing crunches. This works the abs while bringing your heart rate up. We're all about burning calories while working all muscle groups today, especially our abs. Now we have skater jump with arm swing. Take a big jump to the right and bring your left foot behind you, then jump back to the left and do the same. Make sure you move your arms so that you're using more energy for the exercises, so more calories. If you can't do the jumps, then just exclude the jump. Straight away, we have high knee. Bring your knee up to your hips level and do it fast. Remember to squeeze your abs while you're doing it. Squeeze it. The next exercise is alternating lunges. So you can do this with a jump or without jumps. It's really up to how you're feeling right now. You can add a little hop in between if that's easier for you. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your toes while you're lunging down. Now we have burpees. It doesn't feel complete doing a full body workout without burpees. This works all the muscle groups so you're burning heaps of calories. You can exclude the push up if that's too hard. Now we are almost done with our first set. Our last second exercise for this set is plank to squat. Work those abs. This might be a little challenging now, but you can do it slow. Keep going, guys. Now, we have mountain climbers to finish off this set. This is going to burn your abs so badly, but try to do it in good form. Tuck in your butt, squeeze your abs, and bring your knee as close to your elbow as possible. That's great guys, let's take a 40 seconds break and bring a fitness mat 
and rest up for just a little tiny bit, just tiny bit. Today, eh, until the very last hour, we still got a few more days to slay, eh, it's gonna get so much louder. Now we're here to take control, over your body and over your soul, we're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Now we have dips with reach. Start with a tricep dip, then touch your right foot with your left hand like so. This requires quite a bit of balance so you can start it slow. Now we have leg circle. Draw a circle with your legs and remember to tighten up your core while you're doing it. Now we have plank to rotate. Start with a side plank, then rotate to the other side while bringing the other arm up. Great for shoulders, arms and abs. Now we have plank jacks. Start in a high plank and bring both of your feet in and out. This works your abs, your arm strength and a little bit on your legs. So it's amazing. Now we have inchworm. This is super great for building arm strength, especially if you can't do a push up yet. Start by walking out with your arms until a high plank position, then walk back in. And that's it, just repeat. Next, we have push up. If you can't do a regular push up, then do the push up while resting on your knees. Take it slow and you'll get there. Right, now we have plank with shoulder tap. This is simple, but it is really effective in working those arms. We're almost done, don't give up guys. Now we have overhead reach. Draw a semicircle with your arms. This is really great for working the back. Always remember to work your back too. Now the last exercise for this set is up and down plank, my favorite exercise to smash both my abs and arms at the same time. Take it slow if your arms are getting really tired right now or you can get on your knees to do it. You can do it guys, let's do this.
second set is done and now we have a 40 seconds break drink some water and rest up for a little bit Let's start our leg and glute exercise with curtsy lunge to a kick. Start with a curtsy lunge by bringing your left foot behind you. Then as you come up, kick your left foot to the left. This works both your inner thighs and your outer thighs. Now let's do the same on the other side. We have sumo squat next. You can do a regular squat too. It doesn't really matter what you choose. The fitness mat is really getting in the way here. Anyway, move away from that damn mat if that's disturbing you as well. Now we have squat pulse. Oh man, this exercise really burns like crazy. Pulse for 10 times before you get up, then do another round of it. You're gonna be burning by the end of it. Now we have donkey kick with a pulse. Start by kicking your left foot up and give another pulse, then repeat. This is really great for the booty. Now do the same on the other side. Next, we have side donkey kick. So rest your arms on the mat and your knee facing a little outwards like so. Then kick your legs behind you. This works the side of your legs and your booty. Now do the same on the other side. The last exercise for this set is bird dog. Bring your left arm and your right leg up like so. You look like you are trying to fly like a flying dog. Mm, bird dog, that kind of makes sense I guess. Yeah, okay. Yay, 
we're done with our third set. The last set is ab focus. So rest up and stretch out a little. Let's start our first exercise with plank to squat. This is going to bring your heart rate up while working those abs. Next, we have plank to toe tap. Start in a high plank, then tap your foot with your hand. So this is really great for working your abs and also a little bit on your arms. Now we have low plank Spider-Man. Start in a low plank, then bring your knee as close to your elbow as possible. This is really great for your obliques. Now we have up and down plank. My abs and arms were burning at this point, so do take it slow if you need to, or you can get on your knees to do up and down plank instead. Now we have crisscross legs or scissors. Rest your elbow on a mat like so and contract your ab muscles while crossing your legs. I Now we have leg drop. Bring your legs down as low as possible. Don't bring your legs too low if that's hurting your back. Then we have butterfly crunch. Crunch up and breathe out and squeeze your abs. We are almost there guys, our second last exercise is raised leg crunch. Crunch up with your arms above you. So my legs were so tired at this point, so I have them bent. If you are not, then keep them straight or slightly bent if you are not too flexible. Now the last exercise is bicycle crunch. You guys know how much I love bicycle crunch. It works the whole abs, which is why I love it. Now we are almost done. Push it guys.
Yay, that's the workout for today. I hope you guys have a good sweat. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button with your sweaty palm. And also subscribe if you're new to my channel. Leave me a comment down below what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.